Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We're currently inside Divine Beast Faruta, trying to get to the last terminal. And the last one is up there, so we need to do that. And I think the way you're supposed to get up there, possibly, is by going down here. And if we use this, I hope I'm not wrong, and I actually need to use the... I actually need to use the... Okay then. So, what... <laughs> I thought that was... Okay, that's just how you get the chest up that's up there without dropping down from above. So we actually need to jump down from above using the, the, the spout, so... But yeah, we're almost done with Varuta, and then we can figure out what we're going to do next, because it's taken us quite a while to get this far, just to this one quarter of the main quest. So we'll see what happens next. And then work it out from there. There's also a platform thing down there to catch you, just in case. If you're, you know, just in case you jump off like me. Okay. And now that we're here, let's just hop in. And let's slide ourselves down slowly and carefully. Slowly and carefully. Into here. Okay. We can shoot that, which will stop everything from being annoying. The last thing is surrounded by fire, so we're going to need to do something about that. If we head back up here, there's a thing that's probably chasing me a little bit. Oh my goodness, it's just floating away. It's just floating away, okay. Anyway, we have another one of these that we can rotate to open. And it opens up the the roof for us. Which is very kind of it. Oh my goodness, turning this is very difficult. There we go, that's as open as it gets. And now, let's go down here and let's rotate back a little bit figure out just how far back it takes to get the spout to be shooting water into here through the hole in the roof. About that much, apparently. So, let's just move that out of the way now. And let's get this last terminal. Activated all the terminals. Now you can start the main control unit. There should be a new glowing mark on your map. Head there. Be careful not to let your guard down. Okay. Well, let's eat an apple or two. Maybe a Hylian shroom. Just to make sure my health is full. And let's just... Go to the point on the map, which is at the very bottom, near where we started. Just like that. And there it is, down there. Didn't see it before. But we certainly see it now. Let's go ahead and activate it.
Water Blight Ganon is very strong, and I would highly recommend having a lot more hearts than I currently do. Now, we aren't quite prepared for this, but to make sure we can actually survive, let's put on our best armor. Probably even putting on... Okay, I'm noticing something here. No mind, I'm crazy. Let's just put that on. Best armor. Now, oh, we've also got that, which is better as well. It looks weird, but it's, it's useful. Okay, and now for shields. It probably doesn't matter which one we use, but Guardian Shield looks cool, so let's go with that. Uh, bows, we don't really have much choice. I think... I think it will have... I think it's weak to electric arrows, so... There's only one way to find that out. And this... Let's see how long this Guardian Sword lasts. Okay. Just back up. Got a Fly Rush out of that, which is going to be good. Oh, why did that not Fly Rush as goodly as I hoped? Let me try shooting with arrows. Okay, that wasn't great, but it was alright. Oh my gosh. Let's get in nice and close. And, oh, he teleported away. He, he morphs into a teleportation ball and moves away. But that's fine. Oh, my thing broke. Ah, uh, I really want something that's not a two-handed weapon right now. Okay. Just gonna hit him in the face a whole lot. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Ow. Okay. This is fine. I wonder if it's not... I wonder if it's not shock arrows. Ice arrows seem to be working out, but that's just because he's in the corner on the ground. If you get a critical shot in on him, he gets knocked to the ground for a while, which is what's happening right now. I'm not really taking advantage of that. Which is a bad strategy. But anyway, half health. He changes the entire way we're going to be able to fight him. Putting us in water. And shooting stuff at us. I'm just going to shoot him with that. Please, him in the eye. It's a very small point, but please. I'll dodge. Ow. Oh my goodness, let's eat some food so we don't die. Um. I can probably eat a few of these. Seems pretty good. Get back onto land, because if we're in the water, we're basically sitting ducks. Now, let's try to shoot him in the eye. Oh, my bow broke. That's not good. Oh my goodness, back up. Back, flip. Oh, no, that's not what I was trying to do. Oh my goodness, game. Do what I tell you to. That's four, that's three. Let's go with that. I would definitely recommend having more hearts. And let's get back up here, please. Let me switch back to electric. Okay, he's not shooting at me. Oh my goodness, he's doing that, though. Let's break those in the order he starts throwing them. There we go. Let's just go as quickly as we can to get him. Please, Link. I think you have the, if you have the Zora armor on, you can swim faster as well, which is helpful. But anyway, let's please slash him a little bit more. Nope, he's teleporting away. Where's he going? Over there. Oh my gosh. That's so much. That's so much. Get him in the weak points. Oh... Out of that, okay, that was my shield. Good, good shield. Moving again. Almost done. Now that he's low enough, he's trying to also shoot us with a guardian laser thing. So we're gonna have to be careful of that. But if I can, I'd like to actually knock his thing back into him. Nice. If you're close enough, that just goes by really quickly. 
Oh my goodness, that's not gonna work. That's fine, let me just get back on land, please. Thank you. Okay, what's next? Running out of arrows might just switch to regular. Although I imagine bomb arrows are also really good against him. Yeah, bomb arrows are the ticket. Basically. Oh my goodness. Just gonna destroy all that, and then... Let's hit him again. There we go. I just realized it played the Victory 1 theme. That also plays in Age of Calamity. Anyway, we have a heart container here that we can get since we defeated the Water Blight Ganon. So let's take that. And we get an extra heart. Let's go and activate the control panel. Once you activate the main control unit, you will not be able to re-enter the interior of this Divine Beast. Do you still wish to activate it? Yes, I do. Hello, Link. Because of your courage, my spirit is now free. And Wuta as well. Thank you. For I am now allowed by this freedom to be with you once again. Since I am now a spirit, my healing power would be wasted on me. I have no need of it. So therefore, I would like you to have it. Please accept. Mifa's grace. <laughs> Yesterday, I was awash in a pool of tears. I had nearly given up hope and resigned myself to being trapped here as a spirit for the rest of eternity. But now you're here. All this time my hope was to see you once more. Promise me that you will not hesitate to call upon my power if you ever find yourself in need. Knowing that will let my spirit rest in peace. I must go. Ruta and I have our roles to fulfill. We are both honored to be able to play the role of support. We'll annihilate Ganon together. Farewell. Save her, Link. Save the princess. Save Princess Zelda.
found a way to be useful to Link, and the other champions, of course. Our job will be to help Link as he fights Ganon inside the castle, however we can. Using your ability to drain Ganon of his power is key to our success. This is it. This will be our last chance, and everyone's last hope. If we seal him away, then we can restore peace to Hyrule. And both your duty and mine will be fulfilled. Father, are you well, I wonder? I want you to know I have always followed my heart. I'm sorry I made you worry. I wish I could see you again. Even just once more. Mipha's Grace, a restorative power born from the spirit of the champion Mipha. When your hearts run out, you will automatically be resurrected with full health, plus temporarily, temporarily <sighs> bonus hearts. Temporary bonus hearts. We can now see the vi uh, Divine Beast of Arutu's icon underneath our health and other d-pad button mapping stuff. We can also see that it has a times one next to it. It only occurs once, once we run out of all our health, but we'll slowly recharge with enough time so we can use it again. But we have to be careful not to die while it's recharging. Anyway, we're not quite done with our quest here yet. Let's go to King Dwarfen and tell him that we one, basically, with this Divine Beast. There are still three more to do. We can do them in whatever order we want. But this one's what I recommend getting first. <laughs> Link, you did well to survive your trial. I have been awaiting your return. The violent downpour has disappeared. As has the threat to Zora's domain. It is all a little more than a bad dream now. Thanks to your efforts, there is no longer any danger of a great flood laying waste to Hyrule. You've appeased the divine beast Varuta, and thusly saved Zora's domain. We are truly grateful. What you did for us is more than we could have ever expected of you. Link. I must sincerely apologize for my harsh treatment of you. The whole time you were thinking of Hyrule's and Lady Mipha's well-being, just like the rest of us. All of the members of our council humbly fold our fins back in gratitude, along with the rest of our people. Perhaps the older generation of Zora, myself included, misunderstood Hylians after all. It would seem so. That said, I would like I would be overjoyed if you could find it in your heart to forgive me. If not now, then perhaps one day. Link, I must reward your efforts. Now then, I implore you to collect the treasure inside that chest over there. It was cherished by Mipha, a memento of sorts. I would like you to have it as a token of our friendship. Please take good care of it. By the way, Link, I see that you are without your trusty blade, the sword that seals the darkness. Did you happen to lose it when you lost your memory? What sword? Hmm, so you have forgotten that as well. That is the legendary blade that only the Highland Champion can wield. It is no doubt resting somewhere in Hyrule even now, waiting for its master to return. Link, 
all of the Zora thank you from the depths of our hearts for your heroic and selfless work. And you too, Sidon. As your father, I am proud of you for fighting the Divine Beast alongside Link. You have grown much recently. I know you will be a worthy heir when your time comes. Father, I thank you. The heavy rains have stopped, and the Divine Beast is our ally once again. How glorious. Truly splendid. Wahaha. Link, this is wonderful. Link, thank you so much. Truly, I could never thank you enough. You helped save our home from vanishing away. This calls for a top tier expression of gratitude. Zo, Zo, Ra, Ra, Ra. With all my heart, thank you. Divine Beast Faruta complete. Let's see what our reward is for all that. Although I'm pretty sure it's a weapon that we can... We're gonna have to drop something else for. Nope. Lightscale Trident. A spear of peerless grace cherished by the Zora champion Mipha. Although Mipha specialized in healing abilities, her spearmanship was a cl in a class of its own. Well, there we go. This is not uh, the only one of its kind, so if we break it, it's not the end of the world. But I also want to take a picture of it because it's... It's, it's, it's special, so. There we go. 22 attack is pretty good, so. Anyway, now that all that is done, we're not finished yet in Zora's Domain, so there's still more to do. But that is it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.